Hey everyone, Brian from Call Me Brain here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom section in your Shopify store so that a merchant can add or modify content on their pages. What is a section? A section is a template that provides a more visual way of adding or customizing content on a Shopify store without having to code. A very good example of what a section is and how it works is typically found on the homepage where a merchant can add different types of content and reorder their layout very easily. But one of the most common problems is that when new pages are created, there are no options to add any sections to the page. The only options they have are a header and a footer. So I wanted to create this tutorial to pass along what I have learned so far and hopefully it can help you out. Now, Shopify provides seven different types of sections that you can add to your page. The first one is a text, which is essentially a single line of text that you can add to the page. The next one is text area. Text area allows the merchant to add multiple lines of text to their page. The image picker. The image picker allows the merchant to upload images onto the page. Now a radio button, a radio button gives the merchant different types of options that can be selected. So for example, uh, aligning an image, uh, left align, center align, or right align. Um, a select is a drop down menu that the, uh, provides the merchant uh, multiple different options to choose from, such as uh, how many images to display per page or how many images you want to display per row um, and the checkbox is usually a toggle to show or hide something like a button and finally the range a range is a slider that allows the merchant to display how many products per row or if they want to change the font size uh, for their text um, now there are more advanced options that Shopify provides that work with uh, the, the first seven I just listed so um, which I can show you later but for now we'll focus on the, on the basic ones. So for, for this tutorial I will show you how to add a custom text section and the basis, basics of what you need to add a custom section. So before we begin I typically like to have a certain amount of tabs open so it's a lot easier to navigate back and forth. The first one we're going to do is um, when you click on your online store, it'll bring you to the themes page. And the next step is to click the actions drop down menu and right click on edit code and click on open link in a new tab. The second one we're going to do is right click on pages and do the same thing, open link in a new tab. And that's all we need. In the code editor, the first thing we're going to do is to create a new page template. And we do this by clicking add a new template, which is below the templates header. For this drop down, we're going to click on page creating a new page and we're going to call this page tutorial. Once that's done, click on create template and this will display this code here by default. Uh, we're going to leave this alone. The next thing is to scroll down a little bit and we're going to create our new section. So doing that by clicking add a new section and we're going to call this tutorial dash create section. So this will create this by default, but we're going to replace this code with the one I wrote. Now I'm going to have all this code on my website, so there's, a, there's actually a written version of what we're going through right now. So I'll link it in the description below. I'm going to copy all this and we're going to replace everything here. So I'm going to go through what all this does. The first thing is this is what is going to be displayed uh, to the user once the merchant enters in uh, their text. 
So anything in, in a double curly bracket is looking for data that's coming from the schema. So right now, what we have is section.settings uh, dot custom text. So section is always required. And then here's the settings here. And we're looking for something called an ID called custom text, which is right here. And as you can see here, the type is text, which is a single line of text. Default is what is displayed by default when, when a new uh, text section is being added. And the label is what is being displayed to the merchant. So once that is finished, we're going to click Save. Okay, so in our page template, we're going to add our new custom section on the page. So to do that, we're going to hit curly bracket, percentage, section, and in quotations, we're going to call it tutorial dash text, and like that percentage, and then we close the curly bracket. So what's this doing? What this is doing is it's adding a new custom section that we, call, that we made, tutorial text, and putting it onto the page. So once that's done, click on save. Now the next step is to go to our other tab, pages, and what we're going to do is add a new page, and we're going to call this page tutorial. Now on the right hand side where it says template, under the template suff suffix there's a drop down menu. Click on that, and we're going to click on Page Tutorial, which is the new one we just created. And click Save. Next thing we're going to do is click on Online Store on the left-hand side. And then we're going to click on Customize. So when you click on Customize, it's going to bring you to the Visual Editor and onto the home page. So as you can see on the home page, uh, it gives you multiple different types of uh, sections that's already pre-populated by default, but you can also add new ones. And as you can see, there's a lot of different options that you can add. But when you go to the new page that we've just created, Tutorial, the only options you'll see is the header, the footer, and the new one that we just created. So if we compare, here, this is our new section that we just created called custom text. And in our code, we have the name, custom text. And when you click on here, it has our label, enter custom text. And this is a single line of text. So this is the content that will be displayed here. So whatever we type here, this is a Tutorial gets outputted onto the page itself. And that's basically it. Uh, you only need a few things. So you have the page that you've created, the page, the new page template, the custom section that you want to add, and as a merchant, you can add anything onto the page really it's uh there's a lot of flexibility on the shopify platform um yeah so if you have any questions or comments i'll be making more videos on on all the different uh types especially with the specialized input setting types uh, um, thanks for watching please hit subscribe i'm gonna be making more content so thank you have a good day